What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We are headed out to the range right now, but I thought I'd go ahead and uh, catch y'all up. So today's gonna be a great day. I am super excited because I got something that I've been waiting on for a very long time. Now I haven't been waiting on it. I just never made the purchase. Finally made the purchase. Finally, we're good to go. So uh, today's gonna be a day of really getting to test it out. So uh it's not the video is not going to be technically about this particular item it's going to be more about uh can you take a psa saber and it be just as good or better than somebody that has a kind of custom built you know mix of parts so we're going to test that out today with this item but let's go ahead and show you guys what i got i picked up my very first suppressor so this is the Silencer Co. Velos LBP. This is their full size. It's not like as big as a lot of other full size suppressors. It is only five point, like nine inches long, but that number is kind of wrong because they say that, but really they're talking about to about right here. They're not including the mount. So really it's like six inches and like nine, but I do plan on taking this Atlas Charlie mount off. I mean, not Atlas Charlie, the Charlie mount off of here and putting on a rear, Reardon Atlas Charlie. So that will shorten it down by about three, three quarters of an inch and drop the weight down by about almost three ounces. So that's what the plan is with this. But if you don't know what this is, this is Silencer Co's, first of all, it's their most durable suppressor that they have ever built this thing can this, you're, you're gonna break about five guns before this thing's going to break because your gas tubes are gonna blow before this thing does so this is also their flow through their low back pressure i can't say flow through because that's hux works but silencer co's lbp stands for low back pressure so this thing does have almost as good as back pressure as hux works except it sounds way better. It's a lot quieter than the Huxworks can. So that was originally what I wanted to get was a Huxworks because I have a PSA Saber 11.5 and I did not want to have to tune my rifle and put adjustable gas block on and do all this crap. I didn't want to do any of that. I wanted to get a can that I could just throw on and run it. So that's what we're gonna test out today. So. It does have those little holes all through here to let the gas go out the front instead of back at the shooter. The very first suppressor for the channel. So I'm super excited about this. Y'all are going to get to go on this adventure with me because I know, I know some of the basics of running suppressed, but there's a lot to learn and you really don't learn until you have your own suppressor. So we're going to go on this little adventure. Now, to let you guys know, the PSA Saber 11.5 that I have, it has an H2 buffer and a standard power Sprinko white spring. It's not their hot white spring, it's their just standard power. So that's kind of crazy because, you know, like a lot of like, you know, your 10.5s or Mark 18s, a lot of them you'll see, especially when they're suppressed, H3 buffers, sometimes extra power springs, stuff like that. So for it to have a standard power spring and only an H2 buffer, that's pretty good for it to still have like about a three uh, three o'clock ejection. But if we need to, we will get a uh, enhanced power Sprinko spring or an H3 buffer. It really just depends. It's just something I'm gonna have to work and see how it runs and what it likes best. But this is the this is the can, guys. Super excited. Heading out to the range right now, guys. So I will pick you guys up once I get there. All right, guys, made it back to the range. This is my friend Austin. This is gonna be his gun that we're gonna be comparing this to. But if you guys haven't seen my Saber, and I, I see y'all hadn't seen it in a while, but we got some new grips on the uh, panels, some real panels. Got the CAG, BCM CAG. I did have the, B, I, or I did want to use the BCM Mod 3 uh, grip, but I couldn't tell if the ATF was gonna be like, that's vertical. Because BCM kind of packages it as vertical, but it's not 90 degrees, it's 80 degrees. 
and the ATF says that it has it's 90 degrees from the bores, but they consider vertical. So, anyways, I prefer that, but we're gonna go with the CAG BCM with some more of these little grips. We got the pretty much everything's the same magnifier. Uh, this is the Streamlight ProTac HLX Pro with the little uh, push pad that I got recently, which I'm kind of it's all right. Sometimes it's kind of glitchy and uh, you push it, nothing happens. So uh, we're going to figure that out. But I am going to need you guys help with this cable management. Uh, y'all drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all think I should get to do cable management on this. I don't like zip ties because they're ugly and they cut me. So uh, anything else but that. We do got the Velos LBP like we talked about. So we're going to get first shots through this here in just a second. But let's check out his gun. Now this thing looks really, really nice. This is a Hodge lower, Hodge upper receiver, Geisley handguard with a Geisley barrel. He's got this thing decked out with a mod light, a mod light button. Uh, he's got the Surefire 762 Mini. Uh, he's got a angled foregrip. This is the, is this the Magpul uh, barrier uh, yeah. thing? Yeah, so. yeah, it looks good. And then he's got Magpul uh, rail covers with his cable management thing that looks really nice. EOTech with the EOTech magnifier. And uh, he's got the bad level, bad level. He's got the bad level. He's got this flared magwell, the maximum defense brace. I like this grip. I thought I wouldn't like it when I first saw it, but the way it feels in your hand actually feels really good. What kind of trigger is this, Geisley? Uh, no, it's the PW something. PW something. Yeah. What kind of, what is this, Geisley? Geisley. Airborne supercharging handle. Feels nice. Let's see what the trigger looks like. You're on safe. I am on safe. <laughs> yep, feels good. Reset. Yeah, that feels really good. And it doesn't feel heavy for uh, having a can on it. So we're going to test this thing out too. Uh, this good setup. I mean, obviously he dropped a lot of money into this. So that's why we're, I just sound like Donald Trump is in a lot of money into this. Uh, so <laughs> We're gonna check this out. Mine does not have near as much money into it. I think, I think just the uh, the rail costs more than my gun. Now I'm playing, but we're gonna check this thing out because uh, this thing is as decked out as it gets, in my opinion, with the most expensive crap you could get. And mine is more of a uh, balling on a budget, you know? Budget yeah, budget friendly, balling on a budget. So let's get loaded up and let's check this out. YouTube, we are in a safe and controlled environment. We are at the gun range. We are going to be handling all firearms safely. We are not modifying anything. Everything is factory and is coming from a factory. So just had to let y'all know. All right, we got the PSA Saber. This is my baby. We're gonna go ahead and do it without the uh, suppressor first and see how both of them sound and feel without a can on. And then we're going to move to uh, we're gonna move to cans. Forgot, I put this uh, Magpul Enhanced Trigger Guard on here yesterday uh, to make it kind of look. I'm trying to go with the FDE black look, guys, if you can't tell. Eventually, I'm gonna SBR this and put a uh, stock on here, but for now, we're stuck with the brace. But let's go ahead and try this out. You got ears on? Yep. I don't like this sling that much. All right, here we go. Well, like always, I love her. She sounds good, man. She feels good. I like the way the recoil is. Feels really nice. But I wanted to burn off some of that stuff so that when we put the can on here, I'm not getting false gas in my face. So uh, we're gonna move on to his gun now. All right, we're gonna run his now. This thing is a beauty. Uh, 
It is tuned for a can on. It has the adjustable gas block on here that's tuned for the can. So I don't know how it's gonna be for cycling, but we're about to find out. So let's try this out. All right, here we go. I like it. One thing I do like is this uh, extended mag release button. It feels good on your finger. The bad lever, uh, it does feel really good. Uh, it may have a little bit of muzzle rise, but other than that, I mean, there is this is just a flash hider, so it's not really helping him out at all. So it, it, this gun is pretty much designed to just be ran with the can. Have the cool bad lever. <laughs> <laughs> also, I forgot to mention, this is an 11.5 and his is a 10.5. So there is a difference there when it comes to the weight uh, of mine compared to the weight of his. Mine does feel a little bit heavier, especially since this can is just a little bit heavier than his can. So uh, we're going to try it out, but we got everything on. We're going to try this can out. Let's see. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to, uh... now it might be the oil too, but I don't think so. I feel like it's coming in through this charging handle and hitting me right in the nose. And the ejection pattern is going a little bit forward. So I may need to uh, put a heavier spring in here. So hopefully that will take care of it. But for now, feels good, feels good. I like the sound of it. Here in a second, I'm gonna take one ear off and see what it sounds like. All right, here we go. We got the Surefire 762 in a 556. Yeah, that's one thing I, I gotta get used to. Uh, one thing I am noticing, hold on, let me. It's, yeah, this thing's flashy. Yeah. This thing is flashy. So, one thing I'm noticing is the flames are coming out this suppressor. But one thing I'm noticing is every time I go to shoot, this handguard is like blowing heat into your hands. So we gotta figure out what that is, what that is. Because your other one didn't, I don't know what it was. Have you shot it like that? Yeah. I, I gotta say though, shooting it though, the can definitely took away the muzzle rise. So this feels a lot softer shooting than without the can. So I noticed the red dot wasn't going up as much anymore. It was more softer. So yeah, this thing feels great. But I'm gonna have to get used to getting gas in the face because, uh, but I'm gonna have to get used to getting gas in the face.
Brother, ugh. That might be nothing compared to people that actually shoot. And maybe I'm just tripping because this is my first time with the suppressor. But both guns were giving me gas straight into the nostrils. So, all right. Let's load up some more real quick and let him shoot. Not gassy at all. Really? No. Is the bolt not going home? Yeah, the bolt is stuck back. Oh, there we go. No, this isn't gassy at all. For real? At all. Damn. Not man. even a little bit. Dang. No. Nah. See? Not but, even a little bit. Maybe it is me, guys. Cause it's I hear 100 him. Yeah. It's him. Yeah, because everyone talks about the Velos being like they get no gas in the face. Nope. Me, I'm like, <laughs> but like I said, it could have been the oil. I have a ton of it down there. Uh, and it's like cooking that shit off. So it might have been now he got it, it's cooking itself off and it's not as bad. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just new and I'm a bitch. So I, I don't know. New. Yeah. I, so I can smell the gas. Yeah. But it's not overpowering. Okay. Like, that's why I did like a quick spray because that's yeah. where you're going to really feel it. No, this thing, no gas at all. Dang, man. Okay. No. 10 out of 10 would recommend it. I love this thing. This thing's my baby. Yeah, I love it. Dude, the way it feels, like just that, it's, if it's flying, yeah. it feels good, and that can reduces the recoil. Oh no, so it's 100%. like it makes it soft. Yeah. So. For a short pistol, for a short pistol. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna run one more time. I want to run a little bit through that uh, through my gun real quick, just because uh, I don't get a chance to do this very often. So uh, you're gonna see some more shooting. So let's check it out. What the hell? I can deal with that. That's good. Bro. All right. I like that a lot. My ears are not even close to ringing. My handgun is way louder than this. I'm just standing back here with my Yeah, he had his ears off too. So, all right. All right, here we go. Last mag, last mag. I had my first oopsies. I set it down on one of his gloves and burnt it. But luckily this thing's cooking it off, so we're good. <laughs> All right. All right, let's talk about it. Get it, we're... All right, what do you think about these two rifles? Do you think... Can you have the same kind of quality with a PSA Saber? and a build it your own with higher quality and hodge you know stuff like that yes i so like i told you with this i put it together just as like i want the most expensive things i can buy the nicest things yeah. going but if i didn't have the money to do this putting this together i think runs just as good and with the can if not better yeah i, I think i think the same but Here's another thing, guys. We are just shooting off into stuff. Yeah. What's really going to show, like, the performance of this is how is this rifle going to shoot accurately out to distance? How is this rifle going to shoot accurately out to distance? How, did, how What's the barrel quality, uh, you know, reliability of the rifles long term? But as far as what we experienced here today, yes, you can get you a PSA saver, and it is going to run amazing, and it's going to keep up with all the other guys. Uh is his stuff nicer yes i think the eotech is really nice 
I think uh, some of the stuff he has on there is higher quality and nice stuff. But if you can't afford it, there are other options that are gonna make you keep up with everybody else. And it's gonna do, it's gonna do you just fine. So the PS Saber is running really, really good. Um, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, like all that matters is that you put something together yeah, and you train. Exactly. Because yeah. you can go out and you can buy this all day long, but if you don't train, it's not gonna mean anything. Yeah. So if you're on a budget, you can only afford something like this, mm -hmm. buy this, buy some ammo and train. Yep. That, at the end of the day, that's what you got to do. That's what I'd say, yeah, too. Because, I mean, even if you can't afford a PSA saver and you can just get a PSA, uh, you know, a $500 PSA, those things run really good, too. Uh, it's just the PSA saver is going to come with a couple upgrades. You know, the Radian uh, uh, charging handle, safety, better trigger, uh, stuff like that. But just get you whatever you can get you and run it and train and get proficient with it. And then in time, if you got the money, move on, get better things, but just get something. But I'm gonna go ahead and say the PSA Saber is a great gun. I love it. I've ran over a thousand round, over a thousand something rounds through it now. And uh, it's no problem. Oh, actually, I gotta take that back, guys. I am sorry. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I completely forgot to tell you this. Now, this might not be a problem, but. Uh, at 400 rounds, the PSA Sabres bolt carrier group, the Fathers of Freedom by Microbest, uh, the chrome lining on the inside I saw was scratching and had like a scratching, chipping kind of whatever to it. So I put it up on Reddit and I said, is this normal? Because I've never had a chrome lined bolt carrier group. And the people in there said, warranty it. So I sent it back to PSA. They sent me a new one. This one looks even better. But I talked to a couple of gun guys, uh, gunsmiths, and uh, they said that, yeah, that's it's, it, it's going to do that. If you have a tight bolt in there and, you know, it's going back and forth, you're going to get some scratches uh, that it wouldn't have caused any problems. Uh, but I went ahead and warranted it. So just had to let you guys know that because I wanted to be honest with you guys. All right, guys, got cut off there. Had to get off the bay. Ran out of time. It's, uh, it's tough. I can only rent so much time because uh, it is expensive to do this, especially when you're shooting all the time, buying you stuff. It's just trying to do YouTube. It costs a lot of money. So... Every time y'all hit that like button and every time you subscribe, it really helps the channel out. But my conclusion on this is the PSA Saber is awesome. I don't care what anybody says. There's a lot of guys out there that trash talk PSA or trash talk PSA Saber. They're crazy. It's a, an amazing gun. It's really, really good, uh, especially for the money. Um, it holds up to a lot of rifles out there, a lot of them. Um, his rifle, I think, honestly, it's hard to say unless I went out and shot like 200 yards, and uh, which I did do. I forgot to record, and I, I was hitting 200 yards easy, but uh, I need to, I didn't get to shoot his gun out to the distance. But that's the only thing I could say maybe. His trigger is really nice. That's the only thing I got to say. I love all his accessories too. They're a little bit more expensive than the stuff I got, and I think that is really the only difference is the color and he has more expensive accessories but as far as the firearm itself i think they're very i don't know i think the psa might be softer shooting um but it is an 11.5 um they're pretty equal pretty equal his gun just has like cooler stuff on it and i'm gonna he's gonna send me some of his uh some of those things to go out and buy because I like the magazine release and the bolt release. So, but all right, guys, that's going to be it for the video. I'm going to have a dedicated video on the Velos LBP suppressor coming soon. It was great. Uh, it's everything I hope for plus more. Sounds amazing. You don't even need hearing protection. It's not hearing safe, but neither is loud music. So, it, it's it's amazing. I am super super happy. He shoots suppressors all the time, and he said that is going to be his next suppressor because it's it was amazing for him. So y'all will have a video coming out soon on that, guys. If you have any questions, drop a comment in the comment section. I answer all my comments. And if you like the video, please hit the like button. It helps the channel out. It lets me know that y'all like this kind of content. And you want to see more. So all right, guys. Till next time.